Hey there, welcome back to the Majestic Bean channel. My name is Goran and today we're gonna explore the topic of pre-infusion on the Gaja Classic. This video is inspired by two YouTube accounts that already have videos covering this topic. Whole Latte Love and Lifestyle Labs both made videos about pre-infusion on the Gaja Classic espresso machine. In both videos, they pre-infuse the coffee pot by opening the steam knob while brewing, which decreases the water flow rate. Also, the Gaja Classic machines that were used were out-of-the-box stock units. Now, this might be news for some and nothing new to others, but the stock Gaja Classic is notoriously known for drastic water temperature fluctuations. So here is the problem. If you're using the pre-infusion method from those videos on your stock Gaja espresso machine, you're flooding the boiler with cold water, which decreases the water brewing temperature by a lot, meaning you're probably making espresso with water at around 80-ish degrees Celsius. The more you open the steam knob, the faster the water temperature decreases, so you really need to be mindful of that. If you have a stock Gaja Classic, I personally wouldn't recommend using the steam knob pre-infusion technique because it would probably create more problems than it actually solves. But it's not all bad news today. When I did the live stream with Adrian from Shades of Coffee, he suggested another way that might work better. All you need to do is press the brew button and leave it on until you see the first drops of espresso coming out. Then quickly turn it off. Wait around three seconds while your puck is blooming, then turn on the brew button again this time completing the brewing process until you have your desired yield. There are two things you need to be aware of if you're going to try this method. Number one, I'm using a Gaja Classic with an OPV mod running at 9 bars pressure. So if your Gaja is running at stock pressure, you might get different results. And number two, you will notice a longer extraction time if you're using this method. So make sure you experiment with your grind size and adjust it accordingly until it tastes just right. Now I want to bring some more good news, this time to everyone that has a Gaja Classic with a PID. The steam knob method that I mentioned at the beginning does wonders if you have a PID, but you need to follow some steps to get good results. What I'm about to show you works great on my Gaja, but there might be some differences in settings to your machine, so I'd recommend doing some experimenting until you nail it. First, adjust your water temperature to 99 Celsius, then mark your steam knob where it's completely shut. This will be used as a reference point later on. Lock in your porta filter and slightly open the steam knob so the marker is at 11 o'clock on our imaginary watch. Put a spare jug or a cup under your steam wand to collect the excess water that will come from the wand. The reason we have water temperature set at 99 degrees is to accommodate for the temperature loss that will occur by having some of the water bypass through the steam wand. By opening the knob this much, you're decreasing the water flow rate to around 3.8 grams per second, which is exactly the flow rate I'm using for the pre-infusion on the Lelit Mara X. If you open the knob more than this, the water temperature would decrease at a very rapid rate and you end up brewing espresso with sub 90 degree water. With the porter filter locked in and the steam knob at 11 o'clock, press the brew button and wait until you see the first drops of coffee. Then simply close the steam knob all the way in and brew until you get your desired yield. You'll notice that the water temperature is declining at first and then stabilizes at around 93 degrees. As with the previous method, adjust your grind size accordingly until the espresso tastes to your liking. You'll notice that if you're using this pre-infusion method, you will need to grind finer than usual, which could be a good thing and lead to better tasting coffee. I also have a little tip that might help you find the best way to do this on your espresso machine. Play around with the water temperature until you find the setting that allows you to pre-infuse with the steam knob at 11 o'clock while at the same time maintaining the brew temperature that you usually use when making espresso the old-fashioned way. In my case, I usually brew espresso in the range between 93 and 95 degrees. So that's where the number 99 comes from. There you have it, friends. Those are the two pre-infusion methods for your Gaja Classic that I wanted to share with you today. Now, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Have you tried any of these two methods? 
that you get some good results. If you know a better way to doing pre-infusion, let us know so we can try it out on our Gaja Classic. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all from me. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Yep.